I'm Senator Bob Huff. Thank you for joining me for my capital comment for the week of July 4th, 2011. Well, there were no visible fireworks in the Capitol this week, but there certainly were some fireworks in some of the committees. This is the last week to get bills out of committee and onto the floor, or they become two-year bills. So we had some long meetings to get this backlog of bills off the floor. One of them that passed out was a bill by the Speaker to disincorporate the city of Vernon. I think that's a slippery slope. There's a lot of other cities. If you start picking winners and losers, that ought to be closed down too. But the fact of the matter is, when they incorporate using the rules of the state and they follow the law and they happen to be successful, as Vernon is, even if there is some issues, there are laws in place to take care of corruption, as has happened there. And it's, I think it's a slippery slope when we do start closing down cities and raiding their money, because that's what's happening. On a happier note, my SB 161, which you've heard me refer to before as my diastat bill, although nobody really knows what diastat is, it's actually a medication to help epileptic kids. If you're having a seizure, it's very important to get the seizure under control in the first three to five minutes, and that's what diastat does. It's been opposed by the public employee unions, mostly the nursing and teaching unions, because to them it's a jobs bill. To me, it's a child safety bill. We have over 90,000 epileptic children in the state of California. Many of them are pulled out into private school settings or homeschooled if they don't have the opportunity to have somebody around them who can administer this, this drug. For 10 years, the public school system allowed it, and then they had another interpretation of the law a couple years ago, so they pulled back. My bill will allow non-medical personnel to administer it. That's who the FDA has approved to give it to. There's been zero incidents of problems. This week, the CTA and the nursing unions pulled out the stops. They held a press conference. Uh, you know, I had my own counter-press conference. But at the bottom line, we did get it out of our second committee in the assembly. That's the fifth hour-and-a-half-plus long committee that we've gone through this year to get this bill moved through. So next it goes appropriations. Hopefully we get it out of there, too. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Senator Bob Huff.